All right, today we're gonna be putting a NEMA 650 plug. That's a style plug on the end of a piece of 10-3 SOOW cord. I just call it SO. They make SOOW and there's an SSOWJ. The J stands for junior. Um, the junior is 300 volts rated and the SOOW is 600 volts. You can find either or at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, the Junior, I think, is just a little bit cheaper than the than the regular SOOW. So here's a NEMA 650 plug. I already have it set up in this configuration. Um, this is your ground pin. These two are your hots. This also sets up for a NEMA 630. A NEMA 630 plug, you'd use both the wide blades. Uh, they always give you one, extra ones, even says on there. It'll focus. 30 amp, 250 volt. You would use that instead of the, the small pin. Knock that pin out, whatever. But anyway, that's not what we're here to do. Today is for a 650 plug. Uh, these are the plugs. Style, these are the style plugs that come on a lot of the Everlast welders. This is what I'm doing it for. I have an Everlast uh, 185 DV. Put it on here, make an extension cord for it. I already have the plug done, the plug in box. This is a four inch square box, NEMA 650 R. A 650P is the plug, 650R is the receptacle. So I already got this one in a box. I did a four inch square plastic outdoor box, cut the tabs off, put you a, a cable crimp in right here, then just wired it up. The stuff you only really need, a pair of linesmen's, strippers, flathead, uh, Phillips, screw gun. I'll, I'll just use that because it goes quick. We'll take this out, take these screws out on the top. Bring that out. So here you go. Inside, this is what the inside is going to look like. This is going to be your ground. The top one, it's got a green... The top one is your ground, it's got a green screw on it, then your other two are going to be your hots. You can tell that it's got like a copper color screw on it. Uh, if it was a four prong, the fourth prong or one of the prongs is going to have a white screw on it, that's your neutral. So on here, how I do it is kind of measurement, this one's going to have to go up and around. So. We'll say right here is where we need to cut. What I do is I put a little score mark with a razor blade. It's got to be a sharp one. Hope you can see that if it'll focus in. But anyway, I put a little score mark there, bend it in half, and just lightly go over it with the razor blade. You'll feel it cut. If you try to cut it with like a pair of strippers or your clines, you're just going to tear up the jacket on the actual copper wire instead of the outside jacket. Then flip it over on the other side, connect the lines, and when you have a pinch like this, it's real easy to it's real easy for it to cut through. Anyway, there's that. Pull them apart. Cut off these little strings. A pain in the ass. Probably have sharp strippers. Anyway, cut myself. On a standard 120 volt line, your black's always your hot, your white's always your neutral and your green is always your ground. So that's how it goes for 120 volts. When you get up to 240 volts, uh, your black is still your hot, your white becomes your secondary hot, and your green is still your ground. So you're really supposed to wrap this in like a red or a blue or black, or whatever. That's to identify it as a hot. I don't care about it because I'm the only ones using this plug. So we're going to go 
we're going to start wiring this thing up. So we know that one's going to be that long. So kind of line this thing up to where the strip part of the, you know, where the jacket is a little bit above this clamp. Just kind of eyeball it with what you're going to need. Then cut this off. Then your black is going to be the same distance since it's going to the right side. So those two are done. Then your ground. That's going to be about perfect. Then you got to look, see how much you need to strip off. In this case, it's about 3 eighths to a half of an inch. I'll strip off about a little bit more than what is needed. And all of them, be careful not to cut too deep. Again, this is 10-3. On these, you can use number uh, 10 gauge stranded. So anyway, we're done with the strippers. First one I always do is the ground. Um, you can, again, use a drill. Screw out a little bit. Doesn't matter which side you come into. It's open. It's open on both sides. So it really doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna pick a side and go with it. And tighten this down. Done. Now I'll wait until this is back into the case until I hit it with the flat head just to make sure it's tight enough. Big prong. Who's in, who's in there like this. Alright, so these only go in one way. Got the ground on. The other prongs only go in one way. There's a little there's a little nipple on the inside of here that keeps you from flipping them around. Then on here you can see the camera will focus. Come on, focus you piece of 50 amps, 250 volt, 240, whatever. Anyway, so we'll take this prong out. This is going to go on the black one. We'll back it, screw out a little bit. Slide the wire in. Then. Tighten it down a little bit. Same thing the other side. Again, if you wanted to, you could wrap this, you could wrap this white up in black or blue or red. If that makes you feel any better. I mean, I don't care. Because I'm the only one that's gonna be taking this in apart anytime soon. So tighten this one down. Again, I'm going to wait till I get it all in the here. Put the big in the big slot, small in the small slot, the ground in its slot. Push them, push them in a little ways. What I like to do is come back with a flathead and just make sure they're tight. Try not to stab yourself. Take these screws out for the clamp. Put a little clamp on. Flip it over. Get these screws started. So we got the screw started. Always want to make sure the clamp's clamping equally on both sides so you're not rolling up to one side. So we'll tighten up these screws. I like to just get them started with the, the drill and go back with the hand screwdriver so you actually know how much torque you're putting on these. If you tighten them too tight, they will pinch this wire and you possibly could get it to short out 
if you pinch it tight enough where the jacket tears and all that good fun stuff but anyway check it one more time tight time to put the cover back on so that's what it's going to look like when you're done so see we're done here got it all wired up ground top your two hot legs time to put the cover on cover on, put the nuts, the screw, same thing with the other side, nut in, screw, there you are, completed. NEMA 650 plug. Again, plugs 650P are the ones with the blades, which is the plug. And a 650R are the ones with the slots for the blades to go into. All done.